folks. Um, I'm just gonna use OBS just to. What is going on over here? Hey, I'm just gonna. I need some assistance. Uh, let me. I'm gonna be. Alright, now, what we need to do first, I need a threat. You see where that switch is? We gotta make our way to there. Okay, we gotta be careful of these guys. Uh, we can't get to that switch yet. Oh, shit, I fell off. because I don't remember do we go that way of course I, of course I over jumped it okay dodge 
these guys again. Alright. So, I'm just going to save state just in case. So I'm going to go back to Hereford. See where this lands me. Here's the green key. Oh, okay, so I missed that. Okay. So let me save this here. Because I don't want to... Because what it is is that one of these paths, I keep forgetting, one of these paths takes us to the final area, and we need the key. If we don't get the key, we can't fight the final boss. So this is the right path. Okay. So this is where I need a threat. Because he needs to kill all these Riz probes. Which sword am I using? Yeah, yeah, I'll use that. Either way, he'll be doing all the work. There we go. 
So I was right. You always take the green door, and then we go to the. Now we get. Now we gotta go to the. To the. Now we gotta go to the where the door was. Okay. So I'm gonna have to. Uh, it's all right. Cause shades right here. All right. So now. Gotta, uh, away from me, you asshole. Okay, now I gotta roll this up. Yeah, shit ton of enemies. Sorry about wall shade. If I can just there we go. All right. Yes, I know we need shade, but there is one good news, is I still got this. There was a reason why they gave you this. It's for that reason. Thank you. Alright. Alright, we're almost done with this dungeon. Now we gotta get both. Alright. Let me, uh, get the board out. Kill this guy. Boom. Get rid of Shade. Now we need bow. Uh, get out of my way, please. Thank you. Alright. And I think we're at the end, folks. I need Dido to heal me for a split sec. Oh. Thank you. And to clear this. Now, we want to have Shade. Let me uh, fast forward this just a little bit. Alright. So now we have Shade. And then do this. What's going to happen, it's going to kill all the enemies here. Boom. There we go. And we get a little prize. See? There we go. I've been waiting for you. It's been an interesting game, but now it's time to finish it. You cannot stop the revival of the creator of the Silver Iron, my master Agito. Alright, so we gotta do this fight uh, for these guys. And I'll be using, uh... And Shade uh, will help me for now. Let's kill the Raptor first, since he's the more dangerous of the three. Alright. Oh shit, we don't really have that much help. Boom. Boom. Oh. Alright. Now, get the Omega ready. There is a little trick to beat Silver Armlet. Well done, I must... Must reward your... For your persistence. I reward you with your death. Here she is. Alright. This is the trick. If done correctly, Silver Armlet is completely defenseless. Oh fuck. We're done. Just like that. You won. I misjudged your secure. But you will not defeat the Gino. Alright, so here's a Gino. 
Let me just say this right up in front. It may look intimidating, but I want to say this right now. It is impossible to lose this fight, and I'll explain you why in just a second. What you need to do is kill these, and his head is weak now. What I mean by that is you can have a Dido, if I can do it, and just keep healing her. And not only that, not only can she heal you, um, not only that, she could, these things can actually give you help. Alright, so I'm now under my death sword. Fuck. You want to be very careful. Say goodbye. Thank you, my brother. Ali looks 
looks like Axel a little bit, so he was a little one here. You can see the king's still alive. He was just uh, wounded. That was all. And now she lost the armlets forever. They didn't make a mirror oasis game for the Saturn, but it was a prequel. Thus the gold and silver armlets fell dormant. After saying farewell to his companions, Ali returned to his world and succeeded to the throne. The kingdom of Oasis prospered peacefully under the wise reign of King Ali. So Ali is no longer prince, he is king. So that's the end of the game. I do apologize, I wasn't able to do this live, I had to do a video, but I decided, you know, and it only took me just 21 minutes to do the last dungeon. But yeah, Beyond Oasis is a really good game for the uh, for the Sega Genesis. It just has some annoying issues with it. But other than that, it's a good game. You know, the platforming isn't all that perfect. But outside of that, it's a good game though. I was gonna fast forward a little bit of the credit of the credits. Soundtrack, I will say it's my weak, I feel like it's his weakest soundtrack, but it's still not a bad soundtrack for us. I actually like this part of the ending game. Kinda reminds me of Link to the Past a little bit. Special things. Sega and Yuzo Koshiro made this music in 1994. So this is where we got a rank, uh, Class Samurai. So my rank was 8. It took me two and a half hours to beat this game. It would have been way quicker if it wasn't for all these delays I had. I only died three times and I discovered 27 out of the 60 jewels. So not bad. So yeah, that's Beyond Oasis folks. I hope you enjoyed this live stream. Not sure what we're gonna do about a, a point live streaming games on OBS. We'll have to figure this out. So I'll, I'll talk to my friends about this. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoy this. I'll see you guys later. And yes, there is a demo.